feels like something happening here. Light lift there. Very, very light. Messing around with the classic half rats. And I gotta admit, it's very good, good feeling. Of course, if you need to get your hand out, you can slip out very easily. I'd only use it while I'm thermaling. And then when I'm on glide, I'd go back to this tourist position. But very usable. Thanks, Kelly. Good tip. Like that. Feels nice. You get a good contact with the glider and you can you can feel the line here with the the meat of the brake handle taking the pressure off the line so it's not cutting into your fingers. It's very nice. It's gotta be careful that you go right up to the top when you're on glide if you've got gonna keep the wrap in because up the top there my glider is engaging on the brakes very, very early. So I've got to put my hands right up to get off the brakes. It's better to glide just like that. There you can see the brake take. Very nice up here. Very scenic. I think I better go and land. Family's waiting for me. Don't want to lose all my brownie points. So yeah, consider this half wrap as a, as a way of holding your brakes. I think it's very nice, it gives you very good contact with the glider. Just make sure that your brakes aren't set too short, so you've got enough freedom to do that. It doesn't have the disadvantage of trying to thermal with your hands so low, and it doesn't have the disadvantage of when you put your hand through, some pilots find it difficult to get their hand out from this position. Now, having said that, there are very few times that I'd actually want to get my hand out of the brake, because if I'm going to throw my reserve, I would want to put my hands together and grab hold of both brakes to make this hand free, because I'll be using my brakes to control the pitch on the glider. So, Normally, if you're trying to do your reserve deployment, if I'm flying with my hands through the brakes like that, when I go for my reserve, I want to put my hands together and grab the reserve handle so that I can still control the pitch. So, if you put your hands together, when you put your hands, you roll your hands in like that, you can always take your hand out of the brake. And equally, from this position, I've never found it a problem to get my hand out of the brake. But some pilots are concerned about that. So if you are concerned that this locks you to your glider, consider this half wrap. It's a very nice technique and you can of course slip out very easily. You'll see me vary my brake grip through all my productions. It depends what I'm doing. I find this very easy because I'm working with the camera and I'm having to fiddle with gear and it keeps me in contact with the wing. I also use this when ground handling, so my hands are free for using the risers and I know I'm not going to lose the brakes. During flying, I'm like this or like this. Sometimes I find that more convenient, but I think I'm going to be switching over to the classic half wrap for thermaling and general flying and just going on glide like that on the back risers. I hope that gives you some food for thought about different ways to control your glider in the air and to stay in contact. Hope it helps make your flying safer and more enjoyable. As always, thanks to our patrons. Appreciate your support. Pop over to flybubble.com, get some goodies, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like to get my legs down early. Ooh. 
Meow. Landing. <laughs> I got it before. <laughs> Way! Damn it! Second Joe! 